Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Today we're looking at a new card coming out of Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Jewels. This is Future Diviner. It's a level 4 water attribute psychic type effect monster with 500 attack and 1300 defense. The requirement, you control a face-up monster that's a level 7 or higher psychic type. You can activate this. The effect is to draw one card. Then choose one card from your hand and send it to the graveyard. The benefit of this card is the requirement on it if you're running psychic type monsters. I'm sure like for example Mimi's deck that you're going to have a level 7 or higher one. I, I think Gitana is an example of one that meets this condition which is her signature boss monster. The effect to be able to just draw a card but you're pitching a card as well means you're not getting either a plus or a minus. It can be a plus if whatever you send to the graveyard has a graveyard effect or if it's something that actually isn't needed in your hand for the time being and is just clogging it up, or potentially if it's something you can revive from the graveyard later on, say a higher level monster. It's fine for what it can do, and actually the extra draw, draw is quite welcome. I'm sure there are examples within other archetypes with similar types of effects. It mentions here that the note with the name means literally future diviner, but it sounds like future selector, so there's a bit of a confusion between what its actual name will end up being. Overall, I like the design and I think it's okay as a card, but it's going to be quite slow paced and might not be ready for season two or season three of Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, where cards and the pace of jewels I think are going to pick up. Whatever you think, leave those in the comments down below. I am always interested to hear what you think about things. Like the video if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe for more daily Yu-Gi-Oh! content.